The spirit of an older man observes the nearby painter. He tut tuts to himself. That poor boy is wasting his time walking upon well-trodden paths. I thought I raised him better than that. Did you tell him what you thought of his little picture? A budding painter, a journeyman, if you will. I'm afraid I poisoned the well for the poor lad. He had to grow up in the shadow of I, the finest painter Arx has ever seen. I blame myself. I should never have encouraged him as a child. He could have grown up to be a merchant or a dentist, not embarrassing himself like this. Of course I am. I painted the greatest works of art that Arx has ever seen. The sacrifice of Lucian. My opinion is the only one that matters. They are part of a private collection now, Lord Kemp's. Perhaps you'll grant you a viewing, but I doubt it. There's a reproduction on display at the cathedral. Not the same as viewing the original, of course, but it gives the great unwashed something to pray. A young man works at a canvas, mounted on an easel. Smears of what must be red paint are evident on his hands and clothing. He is oblivious, in a daze as he paints. I didn't just see it, I witnessed it. Now I must preserve it upon canvas for the generations to come. He nods, a faraway expression on his face. The great schism of the divine order and the ruination of Arx. This will be my masterpiece. Hmm. I usually only display completed works, but, well, this painting's raw power is already plain to see. Here, feast your eyes. He gestures to the canvas. It's completely covered in the same shade of red, layer after layer. It's sodden, dripping onto the cobbles. He cracks a limp smile. He seems to be getting paler by the minute. True art requires sacrifice. Artists must put themselves onto the canvas. He tugs back the sleeve of his tunic to reveal a blood-soaked cloth bandage around his wrist. It was my father's technique. He was the finest painter of his generation, and he used his own blood for his masterwork. The final panel of The Sacrifice of Lucian. He was also quite the sorcerer. Magic-infused blood can be used to produce the most vivid effects, if you're skilled enough. Self-preservation is a petty concern. I must put the spiritual above the corporeal. I must finish. For the most part, a copy can be seen at the Great Cathedral, here in Arx. I visit frequently, for inspiration. But the original panel, the one that my father used his blood to depict Lucian's final sacrifice, was given to Lord Kem a long time ago. He keeps it locked away somewhere in that mansion of his. A masterpiece like that should be on public display for all to see. She was just trying to save lives, but no one will listen. You have to help. Please. Oh, being a good person. Please, there's no time. They'll kill her. Go! Help, please! You approach 
but the paladin's icy blue eyes never move from his prisoner. You are interrupting a paladin court, stranger. You could call this a court until the end of days, Kem. It's still a disgrace. The prisoner will be silent. We are beyond accusations. This once paladin is guilty of refusing orders and protecting supporters of the Black Ring. They were boys. Local boys that signed up for steady pay in a slick uniform. A couple of white traitors doesn't mean every magister is in league with the ring. At best, you are a coward. At worst, you are a traitor. In either case, the sentence is death. His icy eyes focus on you for the first time, pinning you with a freezing look. Step aside, stranger. I am the Paladin Grand Master, the last hope of the Divine Order. I have every right to purge traitors from our ranks. Perhaps there is some truth in that. Very well. She will not die today. The paladin looks at you as Kem turns away and silently mouths, thank you. And the rest of you have your duties. Move. 